Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about the restaurant challenge. What is the restaurant challenge? Well, it's something I made up over a year ago and I attempted it and lost 20 pounds. My downfall was I decided to treat myself and I splurged and then I fell off the wagon and then I just continued eating the bad foods that I had stopped myself from eating. <laughs> So, that's why I'm back up to where I am. But, the specifics of the restaurant challenge and what I did, it's originally started out as the No French Fry Challenge. I started watching a girl on Facebook who lost, ooh, I think it was like 40 pounds. And what she had said was she had just cut out fast food from her diet. And I was like, whoa, really? Um, I ate out a lot then, and I have recently started to eat out a lot again this year and a little bit last year. Anyways, point is, I've been eating out more than I've been eating in, which is not good. Anyhow, to go back to this girl, I was like, wow, okay, so that's all she's done literally all she's done so she must have had breakfast lunch dinner out every day and she had shown her pictures and I thought you know what I think I could do something like this but where do I start right I think every time you go out what is the side like when you go out to eat what is the first side that is always offered french fries hard to resist golden crispy french fries Okay, <laughs> the details. Oh my gosh, it just made me want to have one right now. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I was like, I need to start small, right? So what if I cut out French fries? I could still go to fast food joints. I could still go out to restaurants. But when I do that, I can't order any French fries. If I decide to make fries at home, that's totally different, and I will allow it. This is my challenge, after all, and this is how I worked it when I first started. Also part of the no french fry challenge, I added no pop and no pork. It was just a personal choice. Um, I've seen a really good, like, not documentary, but info session on like clean and unclean animals and I might make a video on that it doesn't show anything gross you know it just kinda makes you think twice about like the things that you're putting into your body so my first month of the restaurant challenge previously it would be like almost two years ago now I thought I said a year ago but you know it's the beginning of 2018 still so anyhow when I started that challenge, the first month what I did was the no pop, no pork, no french fries. I could still go out to eat as many times as I wanted. Just as long as those things were not included. This started to get easier and it caused me to look again at what I was eating and to also like see how much I was actually eating out, which is quite costly like it costs a lot to get groceries but then on top of that you're spending X amount of dollars on fast food as well not just fast food but restaurants and that adds up too so the second month what I did was I kept those three things no pop no pork and no french fries and I limited myself I said I will only go out twice to eat so this really caused me to start focusing on my menus again. What am I going to eat for breakfast? What am I going to eat for lunch? What am I going to eat for dinner? Should I go back to fruits, which I did, fruits and vegetable breakfasts. And um, I'd always have some sort of a meal prepared that didn't include those things. And I tried to make it a little bit healthier, but this was like so much easing in. Because I was like, how? basically I was kind of like, what little amount of things can I do to make a big difference where it doesn't like totally overwhelm my life like it kind of just sneaks in there so that's what I did I would go to 
one restaurant and one fast food joint, or you could have like a takeout or, you know, order pizza or whatever. Then that got easier because now I was eating at home more and I was getting used to more home cooked meals and I was getting used to, um, not used to, but I was get, having more fun with like choosing cert certain recipes and seeing if I liked them. Like when you watch tasty videos or like the latest Jamie Oliver or something like that, it's like, ooh, that looks good. Let's try it sometime. You know, you get the ingredients, you have fun making it. Sometimes it tastes good and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but you live and you learn. Then the third month, what I decided was, again, stick with those three no's but only go out once. I found that in that month, I didn't even feel the need to want to go to a fast food joint or to want to go out to a restaurant, but my mom was doing this along with me. So it was nearing the end of that month, and I was like, we still have like this pass to go eat out somewhere. We should do it. Even though we didn't care anymore, you know, we were kind of like, you know, we're good. We got our menus going. Everything's like the desire to go out and eat wasn't there. But because I was still thinking, well, we got to use it up. We got to. Because otherwise it doesn't roll over into the next month, even though I was the one creating all the rules. <laughs> so I could have let it roll over into the next month. I didn't. So what we did on the last day of that month was we decided we were going to go to Burger King. And did we ever feel like crap afterwards? No diss to anybody who loves Burger King. Like, heck, I could go for Whopper Wednesday right now. But the point I'm trying to make is that because we had changed our diet so much in the previous two months, and in this third month, getting to the last day of the year and then just deciding to go eat in a fast food place, it just super affected our body. Like, it, we had a day of feeling gross, you know, and we thought, maybe we won't do that again, or at least not for a while. So this lengthy explanation is the restaurant challenge. Again, I'm going to start off small, how I did in the beginning which was no pop, no pork, no french fries. If I do go out, it's unlimited. Um, actually, I have a restaurant challenge paper I made. This is January 2017. This was when we were doing super good because the challenge at the time was um, we were going to Toronto in the middle of August. And 50 days prior to that is when we started the challenge. And I said, if we do that and we succeed, you know, when we get to Toronto, we can have French fries, we can have pop, we can have pork. Let's just see if we can do it, right? When we got to Toronto, you know, our desires for French fries and pork and all that, they weren't really there because we had gotten into this, like, routine Although I did, I was like, I'm allowed to have french fries, so I'm going to have french fries. And they were good, but it wasn't like, oh, like, that's what I need kind of thing. At Christmas time, so, sorry, after we got back from Toronto, we kept with the same challenge. Sometimes we would eat out once a month, maybe, but most of the time we didn't. We kept this going till Christmas, which was really good. And I said to my sister, you know, like, I don't want to have pop. I'm just going to have like sparkle water. And, you know, she's like, oh, come on, you know, have a pop or whatever. So then I started thinking, well, okay, it's Christmas. I'll have some pop. And what we do in our family is we're part Italian. So we have a lot of the cold cut meats, a lot of different porks. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, I'm going to indulge. And I will have, like, all these different kind of cold cuts and stuff, which actually did a number on my stomach. <laughs> Again, because I hadn't had pork for so many months. So it, it made me feel uncomfortable, like, body-wise. Like, I wasn't like, oh, I feel guilty for eating this. No, it was the aftermath, where it was just, like, not a good scene. And once I broke that um 
I don't know, let's call it a seal. <laughs> Once I broke that seal at Christmas time with the no pop and the blah 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 blah, when I decided, yeah, I'll have french fries, yeah, I'll have pop, yeah, I'll have pork, it kind of went downhill. I mean, as you can see, I was like, okay, it's January, we have to, like, get back into our challenge. And as you can see here, we did pretty good. Like, all the check marks are, yeah, we accomplished that, and then we have a few X's here. I say we because my mom and I do it together. Also, as you can see at the bottom here, the challenge was greater. So this was, like, no pop, no french fries, no pork. I was trying to limit my sugar intake and no chips because I was still like having junk food like that. And I wanted to have more water. We were only going to dine out once. And I wanted to try only having cheese once a week and only having tea once a day. Tea is good for you, yes, but it depends on what tea you're drinking. I like PG Tips Orange Pico. Well, but you know that it, it doesn't have as many benefits as green tea or some sort of herbal tea so the challenges became greater but then after this month I kind of gave up and then I regained my weight and I didn't really have another plan set in place so that's one of the things like I need I constantly need some kind of challenge to keep me interested and not get bored and to keep me challenged and it did help a lot like I did see the changes and I want to start seeing the changes again because even though I set like a goal and I achieved it I didn't feel like I was losing out in the end and it did feel more of like a part of my life, not just a thing to do. So that's why I think this is really good. So I'm restarting the restaurant challenge. You can be free to join me. I'm going to be starting on March 19th and I'm going till May 20th. That's a little over 60 days. I'm going away again. So I thought, why not try it like that? And I'm going to start out with the no pop, the no pork the no french fries, and take it from there for the rest of March, and then we'll get into April with the two times eating out and so on, but I will keep you posted on that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with. I know this was lengthy, possibly wordy. I may have repeated myself, so I apologize, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.